Brian and the family whether they could face any consequences. Criminal defense attorney Alex Little joins us from Nashville, also a former assistant U.S. attorney and former prosecutor. So, Alex, would Brian's parents, Chris and Roberta and his sister Cassie, could they potentially be in any legal jeopardy? Oh, sure. I mean, I think it depends what they knew and when they knew it and what they did about it. You know, there's this period of time before Gabby was reported missing where the family was together, the laundry family was together. Obviously, Brian's now missing. If they did anything during that period of time to help him flee the vicinity, the county, the state or the country, they certainly could be uh, facing charges for that. In addition, what did they tell the police? Did they say anything to the FBI investigators, which turned out to be false? They could absolutely face false uh, statement charges as well. We're looking at pictures of DeSoto Park, and apparently the family went there uh, for a few days. Uh, what do investigators look at, look at, and how can they find out whether or not the family has been telling the truth or has not been telling the truth? Well, I mean, I think they have to start with the crime that occurred. And here we have what appears to be a murder. And so then you work backwards. If Brian is the lead suspect in that murder, as I think we all believe, uh, were there instruments of the crime? Was there evidence that the family took with them? I mean, the timing of that trip is incredibly odd. And it certainly, as an investigator, you would try to see where they went and have an hour by hour sort of timeline of what the family was doing when Brian returned without Gabby. And in terms of the fact that the uh, uh, Gabby's family says that the family didn't help at all, they were texting them asking about Gabby and got no response. You know, does that behavior, what, what could that indicate? I mean, it may not indicate yeah. something criminal or it could certainly could potentially. Well, I mean, I think there's two different things. You know, if the family suspects that their son has committed a crime and just decides to be quiet about it, well, that's their right. I think we'd all wish they had done something differently. Uh, but if they, if that suspicion turns into actual knowledge or even constructive knowledge, they just looked the other way, turned a blind eye to what they knew or to what he told them, anything that they did to assist him at that point could be an accessory after the fact. Well, Gabby's and that's a crime in itself. Okay, accessory after the fact. Well, Gabby's family certain, certainly has their suspicions. Here's uh, their lawyer or, uh, talking about some of this uh, during a press conference. The laundries did not help us find Gabby. They're sure is not going to help us find Brian. For Brian, we're asking you to turn yourself in to the FBI or the nearest law enforcement agency. Now, the FBI has taken uh, material from their house, uh, also got, got that camper. Do they look at bank records, you know, texts, cell phone Absolutely. records, this sort of thing? The electronic evidence is going to be incredibly interesting here in terms of text messages, even where the cell phones were connecting. So likely, if they took cell phones on that camping trip, the FBI knows every cell site that that cell phone was connected to. So they're going to be able to have a pretty good physical uh, idea of their physical location. So those sorts of things, even web history. I mean, you know, the son comes home, Gabby isn't there. You know, what is mom putting in her Google search history? That's the sort of thing the FBI can get in terms of evidence and likely already has. I mean, could there be an innocent next explanations uh, or can she say well I was just curious because uh, you don't know the conversations between her and her son Sure. I mean, look, that's going to be something we're going to have to debate at the other end once we know what the police have and when this comes hopefully to a conclusion sooner than later and they have this suspect in custody. And Steve Bertolino, who of course is the Laundry family lawyer, he gave this statement. Let me read it to you. Quote, Chris and Roberto Laundry do not know where Brian is. They are concerned about Brian and hope the FBI can locate him. The speculation by the public and some of the press that the parents assisted Brian in leaving the family home or in avoiding arrest on a warrant that was issued after Brian had already been missing for several days is just wrong. How do you think this uh, potentially will all play out? Look, he's got to say he's got to say that, right? Because if he says something different, well, then they're acknowledging a crime. The timeline of even his statements, you know, not even acknowledging that Brian was missing until three days after the family's roof supposedly can't find him. All of that is going to be detrimental to both the search and I think eventually to the family uh, when the truth comes out. All right, Alex Little, thanks so much. And Brian Laundry, as uh, Gabby's mother says, turn yourself in.